Back in the 1990s, we've had a, se a hit Christmas movie and a sequel. Home Alone and Home Alone 2 Lost in New York. 2014 rolls in and CBC, the Canadian Broadcasting Corporation, gets the rights to air Home Alone 2 on their network. Keep this in mind that in 2014, they removed some content to which they say content, um, content irrelevant to the story for time constraint in commercials. Completely understandable. I mean, it happens all the time. Heck, you know, I could watch Men in Black and just as we're getting to the good part with the alien and Besides the point. Last week, people were furious over the CBC for this for not including a scene where Donald Trump is confronting McKe Kevin McAllister, which who is played by Macaulay Culkin, by the way. Seriously? Anyway. It was a seven-second snip in which Donald Trump gives Kevin uh, directions where to go. That was it. That was the clip that was one of the few clips that were cut in 2014 that people in 2019... See where this is going? 2014... They got the rights, they cut for time constraints. 2019, MAGA guys are furious about this. Furious! Because Donald Trump is not in the movie anymore. Why? Why is Donald Trump not in the movie? Why did they remove his cameo? Why? Let's get a few things straight. CBC got the movie rights back in 2014. 2016 is the American presidential election which Donald Trump beat Hillary Clinton with a count of 272 205 or something like that. Despite losing the popular vote by 3 million votes, 2017, he's inaugurated under what he declares the largest crowd in America. The largest crowd in inauguration ever. Like, I have the largest crowds ever. I've wanted to try that. And in 2019, people are mad that, oh, they didn't include Donald Trump in a movie? So here's here's what goes on. Let's get, let's get a little background story. The scene in which Donald Trump appears in, which by the way, um, the American version has not cut. Let's be clear, they did not cut this part. They're mad over something that was done before Trump became president. So I've got a few questions of mine. I mean, I've got several, but first off, th this was back in 2014. This was before Donald Trump decided to be, try his hand, throw his hat in the ring and say, oh, I want to become president. I want to become the greatest president ever. What? I mean, it's a seven second clip. Why? This is why. I mean, Donald Trump Jr., Donald Trump's son, lashed out the CBC for doing this five years ago. I mean, he did it on an Instagram post. Uh, Mag guys that were lashed out on Twitter. Like, okay, um, did I miss something? Did I overlook something? No. Secondly, this is in Canada. This wasn't done 
under the law, under the eyes of Prime Minister Just, Justin Trudeau. This was before Trudeau became Prime Minister. So let's get that out of the way. Some people. I mean, how do you guys know that? How do you Americans know that the that the scene had been cut uh, unless you actually have CBC on your Comcast or your Spectrum or your Dish or whatever network you have? How do you know unless you actually have it? I mean, you don't expect people from. I don't know, Alabama to watch this and say, Hey, where's where's Donald Trump? He was in the movie. Where's Donald Trump? Why? You're lashing out at something that was done five years ago. Why are you getting upset over me? I mean, yes, we've had more cameos uh, throughout the years. I mean, you've got the late Leonard Nimoy, who appeared in the modern Star Trek movies, mainly to, you know, make his appearance as the late Vulcan who passes on the torch. Or you've had the late Stan Lee, who has appeared in various uh, Spider-Man, Iron Man, Thor, the Avengers, basically. Like, seriously. And the reason why those guys, their cameos were important, is because, yeah, it's a legacy of, yeah, with Leonard Nimoy, it was a throwback, a little glimpse of a throwback from the original Star Trek back in the 1960s, 70s. And then you have Stan Lee, who actually had his con uh, you know, his tie-ins with Marvel, in which, you know, people are saying, he actually asked, hey, can I be in this somehow? I mean, you have, you have Stan Lee doing various acts. I mean, one of his last roles, I'm going to go right back earlier this year to, uh, yeah, I want to say earlier this year, back to, to Captain Marvel, to which he appears as a bus driver. It, I mean, he appears also in uh, Mr. Fantastic and Sue Storm's Wedding, or should I say, Reed's and Sue's Wedding in Fantastic Four Rise of the Silver Surfer. The reason why Donald Trump got into Home Alone 2 was because Part of the movie was in Trump, was in one of Trump Towers. And Trump's going like, Whoa, hold on a second, you cannot have this in my movie. You cannot do this, you cannot have this in my movie. Sir, 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 sir. Keep this in mind, this is just a kid, it's a movie uh, about a kid who gets lost in New York. Uh, he goes into a hotel, but you cannot have it on your, I cannot have this at my hotel. Unless I'm in it. it you're, you're in it. The, why are you want, why do you want to be in it? Wait, this is my hotel and I decide what I want to do. Alright? Uh, uh, sir, sir, this is not private property. You know, we have guests going in and out. How is this your... This is my, my building. This is my hotel. And if you can't... If I can't be in this movie, you need to leave. Uh, uh, very well, sir. Sure. Um, um, I think we can put a spot on you. You made a wise choice, man. That's how he got in the movie. It wasn't a simple, oh, hey, can I, uh, can I, can I get in this? Yeah, uh, you know, a little bit of a tease to what goes on. Oh, we got a perfect idea for you. No, it was just, it was a demand. That's what it was. It was a demand to get into a movie where he has no real part in it. 
So when 2014 came around, when CDC got the light, the rights to air it, they say, well, I mean, this, this, what, what's the point of this thing? Kevin, there's no point in this. It's just get it out, right? You know, save a little time. Okay, thanks. That's what they're mad about. And they're mad about it five years after it happened. So this argument that the MAGA guys are having has no point. I mean, seriously. We're all trying to have a Merry Christmas, and the MAGA guys are going, Bah! Humbug! Toyo! Yeah. I know you guys are. 